Hello friends, welcome back on the RCA channel. Today we are going to discuss the Indian accounting standard cover under the study note number 5 of the paper number 17 of the CMA final. So guys, basically in this chapter, there are three Indian years that is Indian years 32, Indian years 109 and Indian years 107 are covered. So friends, I know that there is a one question in your mind, why we learn all these Indian years together. So friends, I will try to resolve your this doubt by clarifying the some things on the next slide. So friend on this slide you are seeing some content that we understand one by one. So firstly we discuss about the Indian years 32 that concern with the presentation of the financial instrument as on screen you seen that. So it's next Indian years that is Indian years 109. This Indian years guide us with respect to measurement, recognition and derecognition of the financial instrument. And lastly, disclosure provision are provided into the Indian S107. So guys, these three Indian S are simultaneously applicable to financial instrument. So guys, we need to learn these three Indian S with together. And guys, this Indian S also dependent on each other because some provision related with the financial instrument are provided into Indian S 109 some provision are related into the Indian S 107 and some provision of financial instrument are covered under the Indian S 32. So guys from this discussion we try to conclude that presentation of the financial instrument we use the provision laid down by the Indian S 32, Indian S 109 and Indian S 107. So guys 32 Indian S basically deals with the presentation of the financial instrument then Indian S 109 mainly deal with the measurement recognition and derecognition of the financial instrument and Indian S 107 are mainly deals with disclosure of financial instrument. So guys I hope your doubt of the applicability of these three Indian S to the financial instrument are quietly eliminated. So guys now we proceed and discuss role of Indian S32, Indian S109 and Indian S107. So Indian S32 will play a role in classification of the financial instrument into the following three parts. So guys, Indian S32 will basically deals with classification of the financial instrument in following three parts. That part is financial asset, financial liabilities and equity instrument. Next role of Indian AS is offsetting the financial asset with the financial liability. So guys, as we already discussed that Indian S109 was come into the role while we make a measurement, recognition and derecognition of the financial liabilities and financial assets. So guys, simultaneously we already discussed role of the Indian AS and that role is disclosure of the financial instrument. So now guys, we are understand the applicability of the all three Indian AS. Guys, there is a quite confusion between the applicability of the Indian AS if we learn this one by one. But I have guarantee that if you learn this commonly or combinedly then you have perfectly understand the applicability of the each Indian AS and non-applicability of the Indian AS to the certain transaction or certain item of the accounting. So guys if we try to remember the applicability of the Indian AS 32, 109 and 107 individually we get quite confused and hence we try to understand this applicability in a very logical way. So guys for this I required your attention on the screen as you are seeing on the screen in current slide there are four Indian AS to which provision of the Indian AS 32, Indian AS 109 and Indian AS 107 are not applicable that Indian AS are Indian AS 19 that is employee benefit, Indian AS 27 that is interest in associates joint venture, Indian AS 28 next Indian S 104. Now we are proceed to next slide on this slide guys we are seeing that Indian S 31 to which Indian S 32 will not be applicable. So guys there is only one Indian S that is Indian S 31 to which provision of the Indian S 32 will not be applicable. Next in same way provision of the Indian S 32 and 107 not applicable to Indian S 102. Lastly, the provision of the Indian S 107 and 109 will not be applicable to Indian S 
सेवनटीन सो गाइज इफ यू रिमेम्बर बाय दिस वे सो यू आर एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड द एप्लिकेबिलिटी एंड नॉन एप्लिकेबिलिटी ऑफ द इंडियनियस सो गाइज नाउ आई होप यू अंडरस्टैंड द बेसिक डिफरेंस बिटवीन द थ्री इंडियन एयर्स एंड एप्लीकेबिलिटी एंड नॉन एप्लीकेबिलिटी ऑफ द इंडियन एयर्स फ्रेंड्स नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट पार्ट ऑफ द इंडियन एयर्स थर्टी टू सो गाइज इन दिस वीडियो वी आर बेसिकली गो विद द इंडियन एयर्स थर्टी टू एंड आवर अपकमिंग वीडियो इज बेस ऑन द इंडियन एयर्स वन जीरो नाइन एंड इंडियन एयर्स वन जीरो सेवन यू विल गेट दिस वीडियो बाय दिस वीक एंड सो गाइज नाउ वी आर प्रोसीड टू डिस्कसिंग द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट पार्ट ऑफ इंडियन एयर्स थर्टी टू दिस पार्ट इज अ डेफिनेशन पार्ट गाइज अंडर इंडियन एयर्स थर्टी टू डेफिनेशन ऑफ द फाइनेंशियल इंस्ट्रूमेंट डेफिनेशन ऑफ द फाइनेंशियल असेट डेफिनेशन ऑफ द फाइनेंशियल लेबिलिटीज डेफिनेशन ऑफ द इक्विटी इंस्ट्रूमेंट आर प्रोवाइडेड सो गाइज वी शुड नो व्हाट इज द फाइनेंशियल इंस्ट्रूमेंट व्हाट इज द फाइनेंशियल लेबिलिटी एंड फाइनेंशियल असेट्स what is the equity instrument so we are able to answer the question asked into the cma final examination so guys there is chances to ask the question into question number 8 for four marks from question number 2 to question number 7 in any bit for eight marks so guys this is most important part so i need your attention and if you give your full attention you are understand the each and everything so guys now we proceed the definition of the financial instrument it is an contract so guys financial instrument means a contract that give rise to the financial asset of one entity and financial liability and equity instrument for another entity we understand the meaning of the financial instrument with real life example that example is asset for me or liability for you and asset for you or liability for me correct guys so guys again i repeat this example listen with full attention so guys asset for me is liability for you and asset for you is a liability for me like unique industry hold the share and debenture of the reliance industry in this case share and debenture of the reliance industry are asset for unique industry and share and debenture of the reliance industry is an equity instrument for the reliance entity reliance limited so guys if any entity issue the equity share in the market in such case if such share are hold by any other entity in that case that is a financial asset for that entity but that is the equity instrument for the reliance industry or any other company which issue the shares into the share market so guys this is the very basic concept of the financial instrument now we are going to discuss the meaning of financial asset so guys in financial instrument there are three things are include first of which financial asset second of which financial liability and third of which equity instrument so now we must understand the meaning of financial asset financial liability and equity instrument so guys now we going to discuss the meaning of the financial asset it is a basically include following things that things are cash equity instrument of another entity as we already discussed this part in our earlier example so guys next third thing is contractual right so guys now there is another one question in your mind what is the contractual right so guys it means right to receive the cash or another financial assets and next is right to exchange the financial asset or financial liability with another entity which is favorable to the entity so guys one thing always keep in your mind any transaction which favors the any entity then it is a financial asset for such entity again i repeat this line if any financial instrument which favor to any entity then that financial instrument should be treated as a financial asset in the financial statement of such entity fourth part are include in the financial asset as below a contract that will or may be settled in entity's own equity instrument now guys there is another question in your mind that what is the meaning of a contract that will or may be settled in entity's own equity instrument so guys it is a contract that will or may be settled in so guys 
basically it include the derivative and non derivative financial instruments so guys if unique industry hold a call option of the reliance share in such case there is a contractual liability between the reliance industry and unique industry that on specific price unique industry will acquire the shares of the reliance industry this is the call option and next is put option exactly opposite of this contract so guys this is all this is basically derivative contract there is also non derivative contract that will also cover under this part or under under this definition so guys after understanding the meaning of the financial asset now we are going to discuss the meaning of financial liability friends it is very easy to understand that what is the financial liability if you understand the last two point that we are already discuss in financial asset friends i am talking about the contractual right and contract that settle in entity's own equity instrument that we are already discuss in earlier part of financial asset definition so guys here we discuss the something with the slight changes like contractual right are cover under the financial asset but it is replaced with the contractual obligation in case of the financial liability remaining all things are same next obligation to receive is replaced by obligation to deliver other remaining part will be same so guys next is and this part i have already bold in the notes so you need to attention on that part while you are going this points now we going to discuss the last part of our definition that is equity instrument what is the equity instrument it means an residual interest in the asset of the entity after the deducting all its liability so guys this is basically net worth of the company like total asset are reduced by the all outside liability that is the net worth of an entity that is the residual interest so guys equity instrument basically includes equity share preference share warrant return call option to issue fixed number of the equity share for the fixed price that is call or put option so guys all our definition part will be finish here and only this four definition are cover under the indian s32 so guys there is some example regarding the financial asset and financial liability are provided into the cma study material in addition to above i have also cover the some exercise in my notes please study that exercise as well so you get able to proper answer ask into the cma examination on this point or on this indian s and one thing also guys i have also covered the some exclusion from the financial asset and financial liability so you are also go through that content by downloading the notes and for downloading this notes please find the link into description box go on that link and download the notes and last part that is application rule and that is also provided into our study material so go with this notes or as well as study material you will get same content so guys this is our indian s 32 if you require any conceptual video on paper number 17 and on paper number 20 please comment in comment section i will try to provide that lecture to you and guys please hit the subscribe button with bell icon so you can never miss any update from the rca channel also guys share this video with your friends so that they can also get benefit from my video or guys thank you for the watching video take care guys thank you